that much is happening to understand since this visionary Kai Mills came up with an idea to bring a project here to help struggling families. But everything I've done in my life, in the taxi association, boating, the township, these greedy gobblers, they just come and run with it as if it was their idea and they don't have any love for the community and these people just jump on the bandwagon with these suckers they're just sucking the eye of the head um, you know why it is my video is about education you may not like the messenger but there is a message on what is happening to understand and in the entire Bahamas that the government has have the people socialize so poorly that they will believe a lie and through my video graphing hands-on I'm trying to help the poorly socialized Dundestanian Central Pineans to educate yourself it's a mental block that is right in your face and you cannot see it. Emancipate yourself, Bald Marty said decades ago, from mental slavery. None but yourself can save yourself. I'm putting myself on the line for people that don't even care. One man in Fox Hill, it was hard. And you ask yourself, why am I even speaking for these people? When I have to sign into the police station, I see none. When I have to go to a lawyer, I see none. And then the government bring the voice of the voice police chief in a heart. How the hell could Hard be serving under the pleasure of Clayton Fernanda? And Clayton Fernanda have to know somebody that is serving under the pleasure of him in a key position as chief of police in Abaco. This guy is rotten to the core, Commissioner. He's making your name and the Royal Bahamas police force look bad. I'm on the waterfront and I feel like speaking today because that sucker sent me to Fox Hill and the evidence is clear who the thieves and the crooks are. And if a person like Kai could come to you and report crime and he's sent to jail, you're the crook. You're the crook that sent him to jail, that investigated him, and people put a sworn statement to let that jackass heart, chief of police in Abaco, they have a written statement in his office to let him know that Kai was right and they were wrong. But they are clueless because all of them is a bunch of crooks in uniform. And guess what? The government promoted hard since he came here. For what? What did he get promoted for? For being an ass and an idiot. That's what he got promoted for. That's who he is. And that's why I'm here telling my story on this beautiful day. As I remember my friend, Terrence Davis. This conks. He had a hell of conks there. The conks was being smoothed out. We'll never see him again. He's gone just as if he was never here. But Kai remember Terrence Davis. When you're dead, you're gone. Everybody wanted if oh, you ain't scared of the police killing you. When I'm dead, I'm gone. There's nothing else to be said. I fear life. Only people I'm afraid of in Abaco is the police force. Because you got too much criminals with guns to the side and they are prepared to help the people of Abaco since Hurricane Doreen. The worst things in our life has been the police force and the defense force in Abaco. And the saga continues on this day, the 8th of May, 2024. They're still corrupt and commissioner police 
drop the ball by not getting these crooks in uniform out of our coat. But Kai's still hopeful and Kai still cares. That's why here early morning, eight o'clock, letting the world know that we have a corrupt police force, a corrupt chief of police here in Abaco, and he needs to go.